So in my last video I was telling you about BTP heavies and how there's a tank gun within the multiplayer and this is what happened. Oh yeah. But in that video I really told you what BTP heavies was all about. It was all first impressions, but this is YouTube. There's a video format, right? So why not show you why it's awesome? So let's jump into the combat workshop. Let's talk about it and show you what their gameplay experience is like with this. And if this whole workshop thing is really the right move for 343 and when it comes to content for Halo Infinite. But if you like these type of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it is the best way to help out the video and channel within the all famous YouTube algorithm. And if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, well, make sure you tap subscribe and let's get right into the gameplay here. And we'll be on the hunt for that tank gun for this video. All right, so I will say that my very first impressions of playing BTB heavies is that I need to go grab this tank as soon as possible. I know there's a tank that spawns over here. But no, they got it! But yeah, my initial impressions of BTB heavies is that it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm really enjoying it. It feels kind of like a controlled chaos almost in the way. Oh, Earth, that tank is still very much alive and very much angry with me. Like, yeah, we played BTP Unlimited, right? And it was kind of like Super Fiesta and BTP, and it was fun and all, but it was just like a little too chaotic for my taste. I like how with BTP Heavies, it has a bit of that chaotic fun, but it also, it's more of that foundational experience that makes it feel more consistent. So it's like a really good middle ground between saying like playing Super Fiesta and playing just regular BTP. Can I hit that right there? Dang, I was short. Look at that. You thought that the disruptor was terrible. It still gets kills. Oh my goodness. I'm curious. Are we ever going to do anything about this tank right here? Because they have a tank and a wraith, like, and it's going crazy. They just got to run and riot. But I feel like this is something that 343 definitely needs to do more of. And it's just more fun social modes that are just like casual experiences that just kind of turn the gameplay up to 11 and just have some fun, really. And I think that's something that's sorely missing. Oh my God, Pyro Cheese. I've even seen people on Twitter say that they would actually just rather keep playing this than play any form of regular BTB, which I can maybe understand that, but I think that might be a little bit of the new experience kind of talking rather than actually wanting to play this over regular big team battle. Because one thing I like about regular big, big team battle is that it just has like that consistent gameplay where like skill really will kind of showcase and take over and you can actually consistently do well in the game mode. Now there are the imbalanced weapon drop or vehicle drops that happen within the game, which can be incredibly annoying. And somehow 343 just can't figure it out. They even talked about it in a blog, I believe recently saying like, yeah, we just can't figure it out, but we're working on it. This is absolutely insane. Pyro Cheese has 29 kills already, and we're not even five minutes into this game yet. He's got a boogeyman. Don't worry, I got a fusion coil. I'm gonna save the day. Watch, it's gonna be saved. Or not. No, no, not like this. I'm ducking it, I'm ducking it, I'm getting on. Oh yeah, we'll play the grenade, play the grenade, let's go, baby. Uh, <laughs> yes! I never usually like to jump in on the friendly rocks. Usually what they'll do, they'll just drive it right into the enemy spawn and we'll just die instantly. But uh, we'll see what happens. We got one kill already. Another one. Can we get this third one? Can't quite get the angle. We are, where are we driving with this? This is not gonna, okay, well, game's already over. Also, one thing I wanna talk about is calling it Combat Workshop BTP Heavies. They recently updated this because community feedback were saying like, hey, people probably weren't joining in. They actually were struggling to find matches because it was just titled Combat Workshop as a featured mode. Doesn't really explain what's in the mode unless you click into the game details, which I mean, that's already like enough buttons to click by itself. To like saying, when you click on it, you just wanna play, right? Like I don't usually check out game lists, but that's the only way to really find out that it actually was BTB Heavies. Now don't adjust your screen we just got Oasis again. Oh my God, Pyro Cheese, he's on my team. He just got the tank again. But actually one of the things they talked about with the combat workshop that they wanted to actually do a lot of uh, feedback work when it came to like doing surveys and stuff like that about these modes that they're gonna be testing out within the combat workshop. They actually want to test a lot of things out with this and like maps, modes, and various other things, which I think is a great idea to, you know, get a lot of community feedback to make sure like what we get is something that we all really want. But what I'm thinking is just kind of like, man, well, I mean, it's like BTP, you need to like have combat surveys for like BTP heavies. I mean, like it's a pretty straightforward mode. Like, yeah, they definitely added in some really cool stuff with this in Halo Infinite to make it like a Infinite's version of BTP heavies. But I don't know, I feel like I'd rather just kind of like hop in and just 
get the content and play around with it because that's the biggest issue right now with this game it's just it lacks content for people to jump in and play it now we're slowly getting up to speed to where we need to be right we're getting more updates we're getting new modes and stuff like that which has been great but i'm just curious like, if you're doing this whole feedback loop system that you're going with the combat workshop that like isn't that just kind of kind of slow up everything where it's not actually going to really help speed up that process of getting content into the game or does it kind of just play off of maybe their insecurities as developers to be like we know what works well with halo or maybe they just played it safe with btb heavies for the first time to go around I don't know. My God, Pyro Cheese. Chill, dude. It's just a social match. Oh my God, you got Apocalypse. Not gonna lie, I would do the exact same thing if I was in his percepts. Oh, nice little double. Or maybe this would be a way to hopefully speed up the process when it comes to saying game BTB Forge maps into matchmaking. Because that was actually one thing they mentioned within like this Discord call I keep referencing because they actually was really informative. Kind of talking about the future plans of Halo Infinite and things like that. That if you use like a combat workshop to test out new BTB maps, well, it would it would take a lot less effort on 343's end to test things out like that to where you can actually jump in and play some new content, which then I would be all for that. Hey, we got a kill with that. That's awesome. No, you don't! Oh my gosh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, I get in there and snipe. We're on a kill frenzy. I'm gonna get a refresh on these rockets. Oh my god, we're setting ourselves up for success this game, guys. And there's another one. Oh my gosh. So this is what it feels like to completely dominate the enemy team. I'm not used to this. This is nice. This must be what Pyro Cheese feels like every time he gets a little rock or gets a little tank. Oh my god, how are they both alive? What? Dude, I am so confused by that right now. Also, BTB Heavy is also really just kind of plays into like what makes BTB so great. It's like all these crazy power weapons on the map. You got all these crazy vehicles and just it's like a good mix of just like chaos and also a little bit of extra skill kind of like coming into play. Oh my god, dude, we're actually getting a lot of kills with disabling vehicles. People hang on disruptor nerf. I think it's all right. Oh, well, here we go. And now we got the win that time around. Let's go. I will say that the wait times to get into a lobby for this workshop playlist for BTP heavies isn't good. Like, we're, this is estimated three minutes. I've been waiting way over three minutes for to get the next match. I spawn right next to it, like up here. <gasps> yes. Yes. <laughs> I really want to make sure I land my shot on this. No. He has one. It's mint blitz. Of course, out of all the people who would stop me from having the freaking tank gun, it's mint blitz. God damn. I was so happy I got the tank gun. The mint blitz she goes, hey, Crikey, that's not a tank gun. Now, this is a tank gun. Oh, there he is. Yep. He's definitely signed up for the next one. No, Remy. No, Remy. No, Remy. No. <laughs> He's already on a running riot. Come here. No. What? I literally saw him peek around the corner, then peeked backwards, and then it shot and killed me. <laughs> the lag conversation's crazy. I, I hooked him up with Monster Energy Drinks for XP, and this is what he does for me. All right, we got Mythlets, let's go. Just, just trying my best just to survive out here, man. Oh God. I was like, I heard the tank gun. And then of course, it's Remy. I get the sniper. Of course not. No! Why would you do that? It'd be kind of funny if they played like like how you know how the Juggernaut in Call of Duty has like the Enter Sandman playing. If they could have like some metal music playing while you pick this thing up or something, that'd be hilarious. Ow. Dang it! With mouse and keyboard, it's pretty nasty. Skewer, I'll take it. Hey! Yeah, there was like one shot with the hammer just sitting there. The lag composition, Remy. Come on. Can't tell which one's which one's higher, Remy's ping or his frames. Pick that up. Don't you dare pick that up. Oh no, I missed. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Another one. Another one! Yes! 
Okay, now we're out of ammo. There we go. See, when Min Plus is in the lobby, he's going great for me. See, I got my kill frenzy now. What's the one thing that changed? Min Blitz not being in the lobby. There it is. Okay, so it's on a four minute timer? Really? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. No! Oh, that was cool, though. No, no. He doesn't even know I'm here. He doesn't even know. He didn't even know. <laughs> there you go. This guy right here. He doesn't even know. Oh, no. Wait, what just happened right there? Was that some desync or something that happened? <laughs> Still got him. Oh, come behind us. And in front of us. And behind us. No, that wasn't doing nothing for you, buddy. Yes! We got the win. Let's go. 